Welcome to Nora Moss Woodworking, where I hope to inspire you by making small projects out of reclaimed materials. It's literally only a minute or two ago uh, that somebody asked about a downdraft table, and quite a while ago I built a small version that I can put on my work table. Uh, I've since found a few things that I want to tweak or change, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to simply build a new one. When I built the downdraft box, uh, my shop was set up a little different. So now it turns out the the port for the ex for the dust extraction is on the wrong end, and uh, I also want to have a little bit of overhang at the front so that I have the the box further in on the table when I clamp it down. This time around, I will move the porthole from one end and i think i will i will put it here that's that'll be the closest to my uh, dust extraction i need three pieces of plywood one for the bottom one for the top and one to go uh, from one end to the other i'll show you that later and uh, the one for the bottom might as well make it as wide as my table 54 centimeters and uh, I've got a piece here that is 80 centimeters wide I'll simply cut off 54 centimeters and use that as the bottom then I need something for the box itself and I've got this long board that I can cut into pieces. I just want to plane one side of it first. Then I need to cut it into usable pieces. And uh, what do I do in a small shop? Well, I've got a lightweight table saw, so I'll just turn it 90 degrees. That should give me room enough to cut even a long board like this. My piece of plywood has got two corners cut off and I will uh, I will simply take that into consideration when I uh, take the measurements for for the box. The corners are cut off at three by three centimeters uh, so I will need two pieces at 48 centimeters and two pieces at 74 now I have something that I can turn into a box I just need to cut a shallow groove around the top. I've set up my router table to cut the groove for the top. I've set it to cut 6mm wide and 10mm deep so that I have enough for both the top and the mesh. the top I need a piece that's 45 by about 71 and a half. Next I need a piece of plywood to go inside the box. I need it to um, go from somewhere around here, I don't know if you can see it, about 10-15 centimeters from one end to just below the top on the other end. This is to distribute the airflow so I'll go for longitudinal cuts, I'll uh, space them rather closely and then on the underside I will mount a thin strip of wood uh, to give a little support otherwise the top will be too saggy.
let's just say that I've tried. I've tried to use the handheld router. It's also very time consuming to set up. I'll simply set up the router table and, and cut it there. Well, I won't call the results perfect. Um, I forgot to tighten the fence once and uh, again it slipped on me. Time to start putting it together. I could glue it up perhaps with some um, construction adhesive but I'm not going to do that. I want to be able to take it apart. I did say that I was going to cut it here but I will cut it here because I don't want the I don't want the pipe stinging, sticking out the front. It'll be in my way when I'm working on the table. And finally, I can start assembly. I may also have to sand a little in here because my hole saw and uh, the pipe I'm using for my dust extraction are the exact same size and sometimes it's a little too tight. Now I just need to put this rubber mat on and from past experience I know that whatever I do it will come loose eventually. So uh, rather than trying to glue it down or anything like that I'm simply going to use a staple gun. sharp knife to trim off the excess. Test one is to see if the hose actually fit and it doesn't. I need to enlarge this hole a little bit. After a bit of sanding, the, the hose fits, we just need to find something to sand. just as I had expected. It is a little flexible but uh, if that becomes a problem I'll simply put another two or three strips across. And that's my movable downdraft table sanding box. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have please leave a like and subscribe to get a notification when I upload new videos. Thank you very much.